Are you planning an extended dive trip in the Dan Southern Africa region? If so, then there are a couple of things that you need to know that are relevant to you and I'd like us to explore those together. Welcome to another Get to Know Dan video. My name is Dr. Franz Cronier and I'm a diving medical practitioner specialized in diving, hyperbaric and aerospace medicine. But what I'm most keen about is diving and I've the privilege of being the founder of Dan Southern Africa. If you want to learn more about Divers Alert Network and our diving safety related stuff, Subscribe to our Dan Southern Africa YouTube channel or visit the Dan blog to get the latest news so that you don't miss anything. Okay, so what do you need to know about planning an extended dive trip within the Dan Southern Africa Territory? Well, I recommend that you notify the Dan office of your plans, the plans of the extended dive trip and the countries where you'll be working. Having all your travel details, especially your updated contacted details, helps the DAN team to better assist you in the event of a diving emergency. And there's another important point to consider. If you travel for a period longer than 90 consecutive days within the DAN Southern Africa region, outside your country of residence, your non-diving travel benefits will not be valid. And that's an important thing to know. So consider the following. If you are a diving professional and you're planning to work in a country within the Dan Southern Africa region but not within South Africa, it's advisable to change your address details to the country you're working in. This will allow you to take full advantage of the non-diving benefits when you're traveling from your country that you're working in to any other country worldwide. Again, as long as the trip is less than 90 days. So a couple of questions. Which countries form part of the Dan Southern Africa region? Well, in summary, it's really Sub-Saharan Africa. But it includes South Africa, Swaziland, Lesotho, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Angola, Zambia, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Madagascar, the Comores, Seychelles and Mauritius. As mentioned before, it's always best to notify Dan about your extended travel in advance. And it's easy to do. You apply simply by navigating to the bottom of the Dan Annual Membership web page. At the bottom of the page, you will see an online travel extension form. Click the form, complete it, and thereafter a Dan hotline agent will contact you and confirm receipt of your application. The agent might request some additional information if necessary. And just for watching, we'd like to offer you a free gift. Download the Dan Guide to Travel now simply by using the links below. Oh, and by the way, do you have the Dan mobile app yet? It's available for Android and for iPhones. The Dan mobile is a great companion and most places nowadays have access to Wi-Fi and it's the best way to connect with Dan real time. You have Dan literally at your fingertips and you can send images particularly if they're rashes or some other untoward symptoms that sometimes are very difficult to communicate in language terms. 
you're also able to give us an idea of your surroundings. And these things help enormously with planning the best possible care for you in the situation you are. So if you haven't got it yet, download the Dan app now. The links and description are below. If you want to learn more about Divers Alert Network and the diving safety related stuff related to Dan, then subscribe to the Dan Southern Africa YouTube channel or visit the Dan blog so you can get the latest news and don't miss anything. To learn more about everything I spoke about and the links, again, go to the description section below. Thank you so much for your time. In the next video, we'll be talking about why it's important to apply for an extension when you're working outside of the Dan Southern Africa region as well, because there's some extra things to consider. Thank you for supporting Dan.